morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are watching from. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how we pay for National Council of Higher Education through the URA website. So first and foremost, you go to your search engine, which is uh, maybe for example Chrome, Mozilla, or Firefox, and you type in URA web portal. And after typing in, you have to search. Um, so after searching, the URA homepage will display, which has various services. And for us, we shall select. We shall select e-services just right there. So after selecting e a page like this, will display. And under e-services, we have register for taxes payments. And motor vehicle for us, our interest is to to make payments. So we shall select on payment registration just up there, the first one under payments. So when you select on it, we shall go where there is tax head, where we have NTR tax type and other NTR. So we shall select. We shall select um, other NTR just right there. So after selecting, our next part will be to fill in the taxpayer details. So for taxpayers details, we shall begin with the name, taxpayer name. Type in all the names of the person who is making the payment. Who is that is the student. Uh, type in the two names or three then for the email id this email id helps for those who are going to pay online say you have an account with the bank and you want to pay using e-banking all the details will be sent to your email and uh, then after that you will fill in your geographical location that is uh, from district to your village so you just click in the drop down box and you select accordingly then after that you have to put in your contact telephone number your contact telephone number and your mobile number at times it is the same then after that we shall come and uh, we fill in the details of other NTR payments whereby we are going to begin with uh, we are going to begin with the ministry stroke department stroke agency which is there and we shall have to select that in the drop down box and we see we shall So when you click on it, uh, they will bring the institution name automatically because it is a setting, it is a default setting. So you have to put in your institution name in that box right here, institution. So let's say this is Makere University. So you have to type in. So after typing in Makere University, don't mean about the amount first leave the amount come down here where there is fees calculation where they ask for number of students number of students simply means the number of years you're paying for remember this is an annual payment you pay it once a year so number of student means number of times so if it is one you type in one and after typing in one the amount that is charged by one student will automatically reflect here and the total amount will be multiplied by the number of times that someone is paying so in this case it is one so one times 20 the final amount is 20,000 and even the amount up here you have to come automatically after filling in that you will come to identification details 
and you click in that drop down box just here so and i provide many um, identification details the different proofs that you can use national id employment id number so in, for this case since most of us have uh, national ids you have to click on national id and then you come and type your identity number here that you have used uh, for those ones who have then for any student who doesn't have any of the above you don't have any of those in the drop down box you also select other identity as i said for students who don't have uh, any of the above you're going to use your you select other identity and you have to type in your registration number here so it will act as your identity number so with that being done you have to come down to this box which says enter text from the given image so you have to copy you have to copy this text and type it in this box you have to copy that text as you see this text the way it is and you type it in that box then after that you have to come and accept and register accept and register so when we accept and register we shall receive uh, a message which is, which is from uh, the URL which says please note that you are about to register a payment under domestic taxes this payment cannot be used to clear taxes incurred at importation if you wish to make a payment for customs purposes please select cancel and contact your nearest customs office for further information so here we shall select ok since we are not paying for customs purposes so we shall select ok and after that after that you are it will provide us with a receipt a receipt which looks like this and you can download it you can download it from here just click on this on this and it will be downloaded just up there then if you have a printer and the printer is connected to your laptop you just click on that and you print out this receipt which has all your details this receipt has uh, as you can see it has the name it has the geographical location and it has the amount that you're paying it has the university and uh, every information that you put is reflected on this receipt so it is this receipt that you take to the bank so that you can make your payment and uh, after making your payment remember a student has to prove to the authorities that they made the payment so it is better you go to the bank and you're given a receipt um so uh, that being done after making your payment uh, so then you would you would be done with paying for national council for higher education yeah i think this will help you a lot so thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel comment and like and you can share to your friends Thank you. Bye-bye. We shall catch up in the next videos.